Our campaign 2018 primary election coverage continues now with the results in some contentious school board races seen by many as a referendum on Superintendent Robert Runcie. Two parents who lost children in the shooting in Parkland mounted campaigns, but only one was successful. And not only were seats decided, but voters had their say on a half billion dollar bond that would help pay for increased security and give teachers a pay raise. CBS 4's Kerry Codd has reaction to last night's vote. Broward school leaders gathered Wednesday to say thank you to voters for approving a property tax increase to give teachers much needed raises, pay for hundreds of additional security personnel and increase mental health services. It was truly a team effort. It was a time in Broward County when we we're at our best. I want to give you a big thank you to all the public out there that really saw that we needed this. The teachers union says the additional money is expected to mean about a 5% pay raise for teachers and school staff. Superintendent Robert Runcie says it's unacceptable that Florida teachers make $10,000 less than the national average. I think that's disgraceful. We got to do better. Runcie also said he believes Broward voters wanted stability and leadership in the wake of the shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. One parent of a victim, Lori Alhadev, will be joining the school board. Another parent, Ryan Petty, lost his race to incumbent board member Donna Korn. Incumbent board member Lori Levinson won her race against Richard Mendelson. Mendelson was backed by Andrew Pollack, father of Stoneman Douglas victim Meadow Pollock. Runcie said he understands the emotional sensitivity around the fallout of the shooting and says the district still needs to move forward. The property tax increase will be about $100 a year for homeowners with a home worth about $225,000 with a homestead exemption. The school district says they plan to have annual audits of the money to make sure they're spending it properly. The district has come under criticism in the past for the way it handled an $800 million bond fund that voters approved a couple of years ago. In Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight. A reminder, CBS 4 News is the source for all your election news, especially as we head into the midterms. You can see the results of last night's primaries in your district and even across the state. There's a link on our website, cbsmiami.com.